I'm outside another shelter right now and there's a sign on the door that says that it was treated for bed bugs and yeah it's not a good place to sleep it says ventilate and everything else and yeah it sounds like a good way to die of some bug poisoning too So yeah, this is the trail again. There's markers though, so this helps. But it's very, very easy to get lost. Because part of it's like, do you go up this way? Do you go this way? Well, it looks like it's more this way though. Oh, I see a marker way, way over there. But a lot of times, I don't know. This trail is so much more difficult than the PCT or the Malawig in Germany I thought was pretty hard, but it was only small sections and it got really easy. This is about a mile straight down. If you see behind me, we have to go straight down. And the trail doesn't ever do the zigzag switchback thing. It just likes to go down. So if you're thinking of hiking this, just keep in mind certain areas in this is very, very difficult. Right, okay, so I was way, way up there, probably even higher than what we can see because you know, we're going down. And uh, I don't know how long I've been at it. Uh, no breaks or anything, but uh, maybe not even a half a mile and it's been an hour. Whew. So it's a little, it, it's crazy. Trail here isn't too terrible. The really bad sections I don't film in, too scary. I already had multiple close calls uh, where I almost slip. And yeah, if you slip off the trail, you're gonna go into a tumble. It'll be really, really hard to stop. I'm definitely a little scared of heights. I think Little B, if she did this, she'd be screaming though. Yeah, so if you like uh, primitive trails, dangerous, no cell service, this is the trail for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can see why I'm the only one on the trail and nobody else is on this trail. This is, if anybody sees a sign, I'd say danger, danger. <laughs> But that view is amazing. I'm supposed to be, I think, right there. That's my guess. Okay, so I'm officially off the scary sections, it looks like. And yeah, I could see that if it's windy, that is a death trap. You can't do it if it's windy. That was way too dangerous. And if I didn't have trekking poles, again, disastrous too. Part of me feels lucky just to have made it out without an injury or worse. So this to me right now is a normal trail that I'm on. Nothing too crazy. The stepping's okay. A few rocks here and there. But, uh, yeah, now it's like we're kind of back in civilization and we're not with the extreme sports people who are mountaineer rock climbers. <laughs> this is, to me, actually feels like hiking again on this. Let's be honest, you can't live up in the mountains because uh, you run out of food. <laughs> so you always have to come in for a resupply and I'm pretty much out of food too. All right, I am going in for town for a well-deserved zero. If I can make it, I don't know if I can make it. I'm kind of hoping I can get a hitch. And that's why I'm on this road now. And so far there's been zero cars. So Guardian Angel Hiker saved me yesterday, but now I'm again all alone, no cars. And I've been on this road hiking down from the mountain for like three hours now so i'm hoping some good news is going to happen soon so fingers crossed all right i made it into town it's the next day i'm taking a zero which means i am taking the day off but it's not really because i have a million things to do and i have laundry and everything and i have to resupply but what was really really cool is i made it like almost down the mountain but i did find 
a van and I asked the people, is there any way I can sque uh, squeeze in? I'll ride in the trunk or anything. Just, mm, okay. And they're like, oh yes, yes, actually, I think we can get you in. No problem, no problem at all. And it was uh, three women and one man. I think they were from Czech Republic and Belgium. And uh, I was saying, oh yeah, I'm actually just doing this to lose weight and stuff. And I hiked the PCT last year and the one woman said, I think I know you. And I was like, uh, or I've heard of you. And I was like, oh, maybe, maybe that might be true. So anyways, that was really, really funny. Uh, that happened in Germany one time too on the witch trail, somebody uh, totally, he actually stopped me and recognized me too. Uh, I think it was from the other YouTube channel though, but I was on top of the mountain on the witch trail, the highest mountain in Northern Germany, and I got recognized too. So it's always really funny when somebody knows you, even if you're on the other side of the planet, somebody's like, I think I know you. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, a lot of work to get done and stuff like that, and it's never ending. Uh, it's not like a normal zero where I can just lay around and do nothing, but ha, ah, I was so glad to take a day off and I'm getting back up there. I have to keep walking. It's honestly, it gets lonely and stuff, but I don't know what else. I'm getting back up there and I want to attack that mountain as much as possible. Okay. I love everybody. Have an awesome time. Take care. Bye.